Hello everyone, this is Hans on behalf of Ingeniería Silsa 3D. This is a new tutorial on how to set movement to a character cloth. And um, we got here uh, this first scene. Uh, you're looking at it, it's an example of what we're going to learn today. You can see how the clothes moves up and then pauses in the air and com comes back down again. And uh, that this is just uh, an example of what you're going to be able to do once we finish. Um, we have set up a scene, which is just an image and, uh, and a camera and perspective. It's not a background, it's just an, an image. Uh, with our character, so you guys can easily see the movement effect. We're not going to be using this, this is just uh, uh, for you guys to see what we wanted to do. Okay, um, as always, we're going to start from scratch, and uh, first, um, we need to import uh, the model of our character, and uh, this is one I downloaded from the internet, you just drag and drop it in uh, 3D Max. This model we're using has no texture, but um, when I download it, I have on the files textures, a texture folder. So we open the folder, and uh, after that, you press M on your keyboard, and you get the uh, to open the editor material and in this window you can drop drag and drop the, the files with the textures we got diffuse color files and normal files so we just go to maps and open our textures and drag and drop it in fuse color and the normal one just drag it and drop it into bump we cannot if you want you cannot use bump but uh it helps quality so let's just skip doing this and dragging our textures and dropping them in maps and i'm just gonna post over here and just Fast forward until I got all of them ready. So what we did is um, just drag and drop every single texture, and uh, okay, let's keep on going. In, a, in another tutorial, we will show you how to. Uh, we'll talk a, a little more on textures. So um, now you just click every part of the body you want and then just click on the texture cover and then just click on assign texture and keep doing that to every single part. We got, uh, you can open maps to see what color goes with what part of the body. So you can see um, what goes uh, with what kind of texture. Just keep uh, doing the, the texture assignment until we uh, have the whole thing done. She's doing this really fast so we can uh, keep going on what we 
really want to do. So, um, so now all the textures are in place, and this is what we got, our character. So now what we need to do is uh, set up, set up, wait, I forgot, I got the fingers over here, which is, wait a second. Fingers, okay, fingers are done. Okay, now we have to set the bone structures to our character. There are two ways to do this. We could uh, uh, go up and uh, pipe it, or we can go to modify, modifier list and go to physique. But uh, in physique, you have to uh, you need to be a, a, a little more detail on how to do the bone structure. So right now we're not going to do it that way. We're going to go and do it by uh, by pin. Just give me a second because um, I need to change this to uh, edible poly. Right now it's a match that's uh, for uh, games. So we need to put on edible poly. And um, all right, let's go to bip it. And we're going to from view and rise our bones all the way to go shoulders. I always use the shoulders because it's easier for me. You can, you can use any height you want. Okay, now we go to properties and figure mode. And after that, we can set our bones. This is something very simple. Just move, move our bones until they are well set. Very quickly, keep setting the bones. Let's just take the hand and pull it up and down. Uh, just I always use the shoulder because it's easier. You can see the shoulder is very set. You can use scale and try to uh, move the length of the bone so it can uh, fit very well our, our body. And uh, after that, just Just check our bones to see if they fit well. And um, you can go to copy and paste over here and we can create a collection, copy of a poster and then uh, set it to the other side. Just give me a second, wait. There you go. You have to, there you go. Now just copy and paste it to the other side, which is easier and faster. Just did something here yeah. to set this right. Just one second, copy and paste again. And yeah, this is way better. Now to place the head, I go to the side view and uh, you can see uh, we have to move the bone structure a little bit so it fits better and uh, just move the bones around a little and uh, now just set the head. 
I just pull it up a little, and there you go. Alright, that's just about it. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what, uh, what people do. And, uh, okay, we, we can 